Can a person be a Christian and not study the Bible? The Christian should go to the Bible just as a sheep goes to pasture or a thirsty man to water. We should cultivate the feeling that in the Bible, God is speaking to us personally and read it for ourselves, expecting to find definite personal messages for our own souls. Hearing others talk about the Bible or explain it or preach from its texts can never take the place of reading it for ourselves. But we ought ever to be mindful of the fact that preaching and teaching are the most important functions of ministers and preachers. They are highly trained, are specially endowed to that end, and their explanations of texts and passages being the result of careful and prayerful preparation and research have the weight of authority and should be accordingly valued. Helps and commentaries are also useful, but we should not get into the habit of relying upon them or of the reading them to the exclusion of the Bible itself. Many people, particularly young Christians, are apt to become discouraged about their Bible reading because they begin with the most difficult instead of the simplest parts. A good book to begin with is the Gospel of Mark. This is a straightforward account of the life and death and resurrection of Jesus. After reading this several times, you will become interested in reading Matthew's and Luke's accounts of the same events, and will read John to get the deeper and more spiritual conceptions of the Master and his wonderful conversations reported at greater length here than in the other Gospels. At the same time, be reading the book of Acts, which is plain and intensely interesting. Read Isaiah and the Psalms for devotional use. In Paul's epistles, a good place to start is the letter to the Philippians, which is full of joy and contains plain and important teachings about the person of Jesus. Ephesians and Colossians contain rich spiritual teaching, and Romans and Galatians give the foundations of Paul's doctrine. Starting with this foundation, you will be better able to understand and enjoy all the other epistles of the New Testament. Gradually, you will grow familiar with the Old Testament, history, and prophecy alike, and will soon come to find Bible reading a delight, particularly if you have passed through a definite experience of conversion through faith and Christ's blood, and are seeking all the time to come through faith and obedience into closer fellowship with him. Thank you for listening, and if you would like to hear more, please visit acceptyoubeconverted.com.